Hello everyone, good morning. I hope you find yourselves well today. My name is Lily and thank you so much for being here with me. I thought we could do a little craft with me session and I will try to keep it somewhat brief, but let me show you what I am making. Uh, so I am out of these little um, packaging pouches. Now this was, this was not, this is not my idea. I saw it somewhere. Uh, a while back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't remember. Uh, but all it is is now I, I have it stuffed with a few goodies because I'm I'm giving I'm gifting this, um, and I wanted to make a few more. So all it is is packaging. It is just packaging um, from the shop, and I like this packaging. Um, this one here is much lighter, almost like newspaper. I like to work on this one, but this one that's a little bit heavier, I like to use in either my scrapbooking, excuse me, my um, junk journal books, and yeah, for scrapbooking as well, and also for, for making ephemera. Okay, so let's do it. I, um, it's basically, I just tore it and uh, glued it. Nothing, nothing much to it. I, um... I am going to measure this one just a little bit because I do want one of these, the um, index cards. This one is avocado dyed and stamped, and I want to make sure it fits in the pocket. And so that is what I'm going to do. So let me grab one very quickly just to make sure that it fits. So here it is. This is a avocado dyed index card, and I just did a little bit of stamping here. You'll notice how... I'm zoomed in a little bit more than uh, what I usually am, and that's so that I can try to get a better focus because I know in my other videos, I, I'm out of focus a lot and I, you know, I'm trying to um, improve that. Okay, so I'm zooming in a little bit more. Oh, righty then. So let's see. Let me move things out of the way I have been working on projects recently or lately well every day really but right now I'm trying to finish up the 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 journals the um, junk journals and so I'm I've got quite a creative mess going on here okay let's see maybe right there and I'm going to do two of them so I actually have the paper folded I didn't know I was going to make two, but because it was folded, I thought, why not? Why not? Let's cut that in half. And let's see. So what I'm going to do is, let's do it here so we could see what we're doing. And I'm going to leave a little bit of room. Okay, so there's that. And I'm leaving a little bit of room on the sides just to allow some, some room for expansion and so that the index card slides in and out easily. Okay, so now, and let me go a little bit lower, right there. Let me mark it with this. And now what? <laughs> now what do I do? I think I cut it. Okay. And I'm gonna put my glasses on because sometimes I can't see. <laughs> okay, let me cut this. I think that's what I did. No. Okay. No, I needed that line for folding. Oh my goodness. Let's start all over. Well, that's okay. Let's do it again. So I'm I'm going to fold. So what I want to do is like I did over here. You can't wow, you can't really see that fold. There's a fold here tucked over to make the pocket. And that is what I want, just one flap. Did I do it on the back? So here's the glue line and then, so the folds are in the back. 
Wow, they're pretty. Pretty hidden there, not very visible. Okay, so this is the back of the card. And so now, oh, I know what I did. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut. I don't know if I would call this a tutorial, uh, but this is how I do it or how I'm doing it. I'm sure that I probably did it different the last time. <laughs> I'm not following any type of template. Okay, so do you see what I've done there? And that's so I have this fold over so it makes the pocket. And I'm actually, I'm going to cut this at an angle here. Okay. So, do you see how I've done that? So let, let's glue now. Okay. Let me do that. Hope you're all doing well today. I am pre-recording this. Today is Saturday morning. And I know I don't usually record in the morning, but um, I've, I have some time right now. I just got back from, I just got back from the high school. And what I do at the high school is, I'm going to use this glue right here. Saturday mornings, and I've been doing this ah, for a little bit now. <laughs> uh, I go to the high school up in Eagle Mountain. And I go, um, I, meet, I meet there with, with my two, with two of my daughters. I'm sure I could use glue stick, but I'll use that. We all meet at the high school on Saturday mornings, and my twin, my 16-year-old granddaughter, twin granddaughters, they are doing cross country, and so they will go running with my son-in-law. So they'll they'll run the track at the high school, and then. Uh, and then they also take their skates so they can go skating along with uh, my 10-year-old granddaughter. She'll, will skate afterwards. And then I will walk the track a couple times and then I will run, run one lap. That's all I could do. And then I walk. That's usually what I do on Saturday mornings and then we do the bleachers. My sister will join us sometimes. Um, I'll run the bleach, I'll do the bleachers with my middle daughter. We're kind of all doing our own thing. Uh, my youngest daughter's walking the track with my youngest granddaughter in the stroller. So we're just kind of outdoors and getting some exercise in. And then afterwards, then we'll play um, tennis for about an hour. And so while we're playing tennis, I'm going to tear the top. I'm going to tear the top here. Yeah, because that's what I did here. So while we're while we're playing tennis, um, all of my granddaughters are skating, skating on the tennis courts. Yes, so they're just skating around us while we're playing tennis. And by tennis, by playing tennis, I mean we're chasing the ball. I haven't. We don't play by the rules. We just kind of hit the ball <laughs> when we can. And it's still, it's just so much fun to get out. We'll do that for a couple of hours in the morning. This morning, however, I was solo. I went by myself because everyone else had other things to do and that's okay. That is it. I'm going to cut that little piece right there. Do you see what I've done? Okay, let's do the next one. And so I went solo today and oh my gosh, it was so hot. It was hot. Like when I went out, it was, I left my house about 730 this morning and it was almost 80 degrees. Yeah. And I was there for a little over an hour. And by the time I was done, it was, it was, um, in the mid eighties. It was so hot. So I walked the track a couple of times and then I started jogging. I was jogging for a little bit. Um, I can only do one lap. So what I started doing is I will jog the sides 
So you've got your track. So I will jog the sides and then catch my breath on the rounds, on the turn. What else? What am I doing? Okay, so now I'm going to cut just under the fold line. Yes. Don't make that other mistake again. So there. And uh, so that seemed to work out really well. I did that about four times. Walk, excuse me, run, jog the sides, and then catch my breath on the turn. And I did that about four times. And then I did bleachers. Um, and I did the bleachers twice. And by the, I started a third time. And then I stopped because I started getting lightheaded. And it could have been because I, I fast. And, and I, I try not to overdo it, I know. So I will, I do it fasting or fasted, uh, but then it could also have been the heat. So as soon as I started getting lightheaded, I stopped. But I was already about an hour in. So that was my morning. And came back and now I'm doing this because I was um, packaging up, packaging these up, and I realized I needed more of these, so I'm taking a quick break to get these done, and as soon as I'm done with this, I need to go back outside to look at the garden. <laughs> That's my morning. <laughs> okay, let's glue this. Okay, let me do this side. About right there. So yeah, and it's so nice. I mean, I'm looking out the window right now and it is just beautiful, beautiful summer morning. But it's also a hot, a hot morning. And I'm sure it's hotter right now. So I wanna go check, there are some zucchinis. I'm so excited. There are some zucchinis that are ready for the picking this morning. They weren't quite ready yesterday, but it's like overnight, they just, Boom, they blow up. And if I let it go another day, they'll be too big. <gasps> look at that, look at that. Okay, so let's tear the top a little bit. And I could go, I think I'll go deeper with this, the front of it, just so it looks like a pocket. that. Oh, did I glue that in there? Yes, I did. A little bit. Okay. Okay. So there it is. And in the junk journals, and I know if, if you've seen some of my flip throughs, You'll see that sometimes I'll actually glue these to the page. So I've added them to the journals. This this is my little journal here. Oh, look what I'm doing. Where is it? I think I'm pressing some flowers in here. There they are. I've got some. I've never done this before. But look at that. Oh my goodness. They're drawing. So I want to use those. So I put those in there. I'm pressing some flowers for the very first time ever. Okay. Uh, so what I've done in the journal, this is my mock journal. This is great glue, by the way. Uh, I will do a flip. So I will add, you know, a little, a little, little strip of paper there, and then I'll do it as a flip on the journals. I've also used it as a corner tuck where I will glue this side down and then it'll be a corner tuck on either side and then you've got a pocket here and a corner tuck I've also glued them down very similar to the library pockets and then glue down just around the edge so that I have a pocket here but then I will leave enough room to do a pocket in the back and so so many different ways to use these the other way you can do this let me pull let me grab one of the journals that I am packaging uh, I'm actually uh, 
So I have a few journals on my Etsy shop and I'm just packaging them up. Um, I've mentioned that I will be in California um, next week and for a couple of weeks. And I want to leave these packaged and ready to go so that if they, if someone purchases them, they're ready to go. And my sister will do me the favor of shipping them out. But here's another idea that you can do with the little pockets is if you are working on a journal cover, you can actually glue this down. And what if you had like corrugated cardboard like that? And I should just untie this. <laughs> So here's just another idea. You can glue this pocket to the front and then add some corrugated cardboard, maybe some trim, and then just glue it all down and now you have a beautiful front cover to a journal. So that is another idea. So just showing you many ideas for, for these pockets. Okay, let's see. All right, I'll fix that in a moment. Okay, so so there you go. So how about if we decorate the fronts of these? And all I really did is I just did some collage on the front. So let's do that. So let me grab some book paper. Let me grab the book. I'm out of book paper. Well, I'm out of scrappy bits of book paper. This is an old book from 1898. I've shown you this before. So it is so fragile. Like it is, see, oh, it's so crispy. <laughs> if I fold it, it will tear. I've talked about this before. Look at it. I found it in the garage. Pretty beat up. But it is serving, it is serving us or I'm putting it to good use is what I'm trying to say. And it just, see if I fold it, it cracks there. Just cracks. Look at that. Okay, let's do that. And I'm going to use glue stick. So I'm recording a few of these videos in advance uh, because just in case I don't have time to film when I'm in California. I've got some, some things to take care of over there. I mean, that's where I live. So I'm gonna go over there. I fly out or yeah, I fly out on Monday. And, and then as soon as I'm done with my business, I'm taking care of business, then I still have to come back. So I have to come back to Utah and pack up my things here. Yep, lots of stuff. So I don't know if I'll be back in Utah in two weeks or four weeks, all depending on how quickly I get stuff taken care of. Yeah. But that's just the way I've always been this way. I am back and forth from California to Utah. I haven't been, I haven't been back home in a while because I really didn't want to travel during the pandemic. Um, but I, I'm back and forth six, eight, you know, eight times a year. Okay. So let's do, let's do little bits and pieces. So I'm I'm going I'm going to use all the scraps I have on my desk. Let me give you a little sneak of what that looks like. Look at that right here. Plenty of stuff to work with. Plenty. And I'm just going to glue things down. If you watched my other video on Rolodex cards, it's basically the same concept. Grab and glue. And I'm going to call this one grab and glue also because that's what I'm doing, grabbing and gluing. Let me show you my cute little Rolodex because I ran out of time in the previous video and I didn't get a chance to show you the final product. 
And what I did is I just added a little bit of bling to the card. So these I'm actually using as my business cards and I'm adding these into my handmade um, projects. So look at how cute they turned out. It needed a little, a little bit of uh, bling. So I added just that little gem right there. And there's my card. So you see how I've done this with, so these are my business cards. So I'll link the video so you could see how it is that I created these altered, altered um, Rolodex business cards. So I just put these in my projects. I love them. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay. So that's basically what we're doing here. Same concept, just grabbing and grabbing and gluing. And And it's a pretty neutral color palette. Okay. That's coffee dyed paper. I have been experimenting with the doily, the doily coffee dyed paper. And um, I'm not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. I still need to practice a little bit more. And so I've done it about three times. So you'll notice, I mean, you, it's visible. You can see, you know, that doily print, but I am, I'm going to keep working on it. And then once I get it to where, um, to where I like it, then I'll share with you. Okay. Right there. So let me just. Um, I watched Gail's video on how she does it. And then I also watched um, another gal's video. Oh my gosh, what is her name? Gail talks about her too, because that's where she was inspired to do it. And so I've watched both of them on how they've done this uh, doily coffee dyeing. And I, I followed their their process, but for some reason, um, it's not coming out. So that's why I've done it several times. I'm reaching for more, for more, um, paper. For more scraps. <laughs> so I will do this. Just glue things down a little bit and then I will, what will I do next? I can either add a focal point or collage a napkin over it or do some stamping. Maybe I'll stamp. Add a butterfly. Maybe I'll add a butterfly. Needs a little bit more there. So, I mean, there's so many, there's so many options as to how we can embellish something and there's no there's no wrong way just like we could glue things down we could also staple them we could stitch them down there's so many different looks and so many different options where can i put this one right here Okay, and do I need more over here? Let's see. I'm going to go this way instead. Yep. <laughs> this glue is so sticky. It's all over my fingers. And once it's on your fingers, it's hard to remove it. Okay, right there. I need a wet wipe to clean my fingers. That's lifting a little bit. Okay. How you like that? How do you like that? I love it. I love it a lot. Okay. So do we want to do some stamping? Let's do some stamping. And because I have this one handy, I'm going to use this one. Okay. Let 
and move this out of the way here for a second. Cover the glue. I've noticed, let me show you what happens when I leave the glue uncovered. The glue is blue, and if you leave it uncovered, it turned white. <laughs> Does that mean it's drying out? Yeah, so I don't want to do that. So we'll just uh, cover it up. Take care of our, our supplies. Okay, so I'm going to stamp right here. Oh, yes! <laughs> I like that. Okay, I do have a chamois to clean this off. I'll show you, but I haven't, it's not wet, it's dry. <laughs> I'll just use a wet wipe because I need to clean the glue off my fingers anyhow. Now I'm going to use this color. And do it here. Right there, right here, right there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Okay, I've got a few more minutes. I'm running out of time. Uh, let's see, what else can I do? Maybe I'll do some words. I'm going to do some words. Maybe I'll come and, let's see. Yep, grab some words from here. Look at that. How handy is that? And how about I use some faux vintage tape? Um, yeah, right there, like that, like that. Maybe a little label. Yes. There is one label, and I know I have others here. There's one label there, and I will do this label right there. I think so. That is what I'm going to do. So let me just tear this. Go, 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 before I run out of time. I want to keep it at under 33 minutes or else I get cut off. But I'm telling you in advance, if I get cut off, you'll know why, you guys. Doing everything I can. Can you imagine? I could easily do an hour video. And I know that if my if I could record for more than one, excuse me, for more than 33 minutes, because I'm still trying to figure that out, um, I could probably go an hour. I'm sure I could. But I like how... I can create projects in 33 minutes. I like that. <laughs> you know how many more projects I can do by, by creating them in 30 minutes, in about 30 minutes? A lot of them. Put that one there. Oh, I like this one too. Oh. Let's just uh, bring out those edges here. I should probably put more. Look at that. It is so shredded. <laughs> okay, let me glue this one down. Sticky, sticky. So right there. And I'm doing these two like in a super, in a super rush, um, or I'm, I'm rushing to get these done, but I will make others off camera and I won't feel so pressured to do it under 30 minutes. Okay, like that. So I'm gonna do a lot more of these. Um, so I can use them, uh, I'm gifting these, but then I also want to make extra so that I have some for, for my journals. Look at that. Okay, let's do some faux tape. Where am I? Do I have time? Yes. <laughs> okay. And I have a video as to how I made the little faux vintage tape. Um, I will tag it for you at the end of the video so you can go watch that on how I make my faux vintage tape. And this is the same packaging. This right here is the same packaging as this, but I have I have waxed it. Okay, that's why it looks like faux vintage tape. Where could I put it? Right there. And it, it becomes transparent. Isn't that cool? So watch that video. And um, because I show you great ways to repurpose um, packaging, not just for the little bags I'm making for ephemera, but also on how to make this great 
great little um, faux vintage tape. And I use other colors as well. Do I have time to show you? Yes, real quick. Let me show you the other colors I have. So here is green from Green Packaging. And I also have a, a lighter. Here is from, this right here is super light and I used this packaging for that. Isn't that cool? And it looks like tape. Okay. What do you guys think about these? Let me know what you think. I think I'm done. I'm done with these. And I'm just gonna distress the edges a little bit, ink them up just a little bit. Whoa. And there you go. There you have it. Okay, this one too. I know, I don't normally work this fast, you guys. Um, but I do when the camera's on. It's almost like a challenge. Let's see what I can do in 30 minutes. There you go, look at that. Oh, I love them, love these. Hope you all find this useful and I hope you repurpose your packaging and make some cute stuff, you guys. And look how perfect that is. So now I can gift some of these. Uh, I can fill them up with, with goodies. Index cards fit perfect in there. All right. There you go. What do you think of that? Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will check back with you guys, uh, hopefully in a few days. And um, it could be another video I record here from Utah, or it might even be from California. You guys take care, and I will talk to you later. Thank you so much.